You know, Royals are very expensive, brand new. So if you were gonna wear them anyways, buying ones used is typically a really good way to go. <laughs> what happened there? I've never seen that before. 250 size 10 and a half with the box. That's actually not bad at all. Zany boss, what's our door, brand new bag. College girls, give a nigga head in my raps. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey. The bitch they hate, and you can't miss what you never had. So every time we've come around to in the past, we've picked up some shoes for some really good prices, especially some like pre-owned pairs. In the past, we got some UNC Jordan 1s, like size 9, for about $250, $260, which was a steal back then. We're going to go check out some of the used pairs, some of the new pairs, see what my best finds are in today's video. And uh, we're going to also check out some of the stuff in the back as well. I remember seeing these a long time ago in San Antonio when we saw these sitting on the shelves. We picked up like two or three pairs. Now they're going for 800 new. This shoe was definitely a really good shoe to hold. I think I ended up selling mine for like four or 500. Speaking of the Storm Blues, they do have the AJKO version here, 220. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really clean colorway. Definitely an underrated AJKO. Black Cat Forest, another shoe that was definitely underrated when they released originally. The resale wasn't too high. And now the resale on these is crazy. We have a used pair here, 10.5, going for 650. But if you want a brand new pair, I think I've seen some sell in stock X for like a thousand dollars. It's crazy. Here's another shoe that sat on shelves everywhere. These were just so heavily mass produced. We got the True Blue Threes with the Nike Air on the back. Went for 450 now, size 10. They wouldn't even let me return these at Champ Sports when I tried to. These shoes are clean. The Air Zoom Air Jordan One. It might be underrated, but it's also it sold out mad fast. Like you couldn't, <laughs> you still had to try really hard to buy these. Bruh. They're uh, brand new, size nine, going for four hundred. I love the bottom. The bottom is such a cool uh, outsole, and it's not something you see very often out of a Jordan One. I'm curious what would happen when these are uh, like yellow and age and stuff. What would that look like? But uh, yeah, I like the fact that they went for like patent leather on the side and then leather on the toe box area, which makes it very much a wearable shoe compared to like the patent breadth, which are all patent leather. I'm on the hunt for some acronym Air Force One lows, but they only have a size 11.5, going for 260. Just a little too big for me. I kind of need a 9.5 for these. New Balance had an incredible year last year in 2021 and they have a bunch of 550s right here. Probably one of the more popular uh, silhouettes that dropped. They have a whole bunch of colorways. So they have a bunch of GR colorways here. The white and orange work really well together on this pair. And then they also have some hyped up ones in the store as well. The Amelion Dior. They have uh, they have the white and red colorway, really nice. They got the navy ones as well. Check this out. We have the regular like 550 GR colorway right here, but they also have the uh, the Amelion Dior ones here. So you guys can see a side by side comparison. There are too many differences. There are subtle things like the toe box area here having suede on the GRs and on the New Balance logo here is different as well. They also have that aged look on the midsole. But if you wanted to uh, compare them to in pricing, let's just check it out. We got size 9.5 for 425 US for the uh, hyped collab, and for the GR, we're talking 325. So it's about a hundred dollars less for the non collab pair. So exciting being inside like a designer thrift store once again. It really feels like I'm in Japan because all the signs that they use here are the same signs they use in Second Street Japan location. We're gonna start off looking at some of the more designer kind of stuff and then we're gonna look for the streetwear and then we'll check out the sneakers of course too. Twisted, baby, I'm a goner, I'm a monster. Don't listen to what I say cause I say things that I don't mean when the liquor speak. Don't wanna break your pretty heart cause Got some Spizikes right here. I haven't seen this colorway ever. It's like this army green colorway, size 10.5, going for 90 US dollars. Not too bad condition, honestly. There's like not any really bad creasing on the other uh, toe box there. On to the men's sneaker section. It looks like they have a bunch of Jordans and Nikes in here. So let's check out what they got. The AirTac Challenge 2s. 
We got a size 12 pair here for 110 bucks. This colorway is actually really cool. Oh, wow. I haven't seen these in forever. Green colorway, two of the Jordan 1 anodized. Wow. 9.5 going for $110. This is definitely unique. I do know they made like a blue colorway for these and also a red colorway as well. When I was just getting into sneakers in high school, the red pair of these was something I was looking at heavily on eBay. Next up, we got some Laney 5s here going for $200, size 11 and a half. And it's just like in, uh, in Japan, the prices are are much higher than you would find at like a regular kind of thrift store but the items you find here are much more curated so uh even if it is a uh, used item it's still going to be in some pretty decent condition so we got some good stuff here too we got some jordan 13s i thought we found some bread sneakers for a second like some jordan one breads turns out these are the nike norths i'm not sure what this shoe is about size 10 and a half for 130 definitely a bit much for this shoe especially since it's not like a jordan or anything like that but it does have a famous iconic colorway on it jordan one mids this looks like it's a barren kind of colorway kind of cool it has like that baseball glove kind of stitching there on the toe box size 10 and a half going for 129 us dollars pretty cool details on these just a bit much for me but cool to see they have these kind of mids not something you see very often denim sixes size eight going for 160 us dollars air max 97 ricardo t skis size 10 and a half going for 80 us dollars i like the shoe except for the ankle thing the ankle thing really throws it off for me the overall just shoe in general is really nice though and I do remember the work that he did on uh, the cool Nike Air Force Ones. I actually graduated from college wearing those Nike Air Force One Ricardo Tishkis. We got some Jordan 12s right here, size 11, going for $130. This is the Chinese New Year one. Ooh, check these out. We got some Nike SBs, 180 bucks for these size eight. Eric Costin Low. Oh, I have not seen these in any stores forever. We got the Mellow Ones, size 11, $150. I remember I had like six or seven pairs of these at one point all at the same time a store hooked it up and i was able to buy a bunch and uh, flip a bunch of those as well i remember these crease pretty funny looking it's not horrible but uh definitely they crease better than patent leather sneakers that's for sure we also have some sfaf ones the desert camel one i actually paid resale for these these sneakers were actually really hyped for quite some time when they originally dropped mainly the first kind of colorways with the uh, the umbilical cord right there really nice boot the only problem with this boot is it's so hard to put on and put off so you have to really like not be in a rush if you're trying to put these on nike sb supremes right here size 13 going for 130 dollars that's pretty cool. Haven't seen these very often at like any kind of thrift store. We also got some, I believe Jordan 9s. I'm not too familiar with Jordan 9s. It looks like they put a Jordan 11 tag on this. That's kind of funny, 90 US dollars. We also got some of these Jordan 12s. We got the uh, the Jordan 12 for $90 US. And then we got some Defiant Jordan 1 highs right here going for 110 Biz Ikes. I actually really like these. This is not a colorway I've seen before. And uh, you guys know how much I love Halo Master Chief. So this is definitely one of those like, you know, UNSC kind of uh, kind of vibes right here. Shout out to all my Halo gamers. Halo 6 is actually so much fun. But yeah, these are actually in really good shape. Like, look at this. There's like not much creasing at all on the uh, the toe box right there if any and uh, 90 dollars it seems like a pretty fair price for these honestly that's a that's not bad so that was the first like sneaker section of second street when it comes to the men's jordans and nikes however there's a whole bunch here so we're going to get to that in a second but i peeped some jordans over here and uh, yeah, it looks like they have a bunch more stuff here as well. So let's just run through these. Oh, the Carhartt Air Max 95s. I'm not a big Air Max 95 guy, but this colorway, definitely one that stands out to me. We also got some uh, these blue fives right here, 160 size 10. We got the uh, the green sixes right here, 180 size eight. Now there are so many pairs to go through in the store. So instead of talking about every single pair and eating up a ton of time, uh, I'll just talk about my absolute favorites that I can find and then all the other pairs that I really like but don't want to talk about. I'll show you guys with the montage uh, throughout this video. So let's start off with a little montage action. Here are the, uh, the top three Jordan 5s going for 200. We got some of these Jordan 12s here as well, the white and red ones. I remember when these released, that's a throwback. Eight and a half going for 110 US. Onto a pair of Jordans that actually look like they're in really great condition. We got the size uh, size 11 and a half, a pretty unique size, hard to find size. 180 US dollars for these. This is pretty unique, not something you find very often when you go thrifting. We got the John Geiger like Air Force One lows right here, size 11 going for 280 US. 
I don't think this was an official collab. I'm pretty sure these are just called like the GFO ones. Yeah, so a really interesting loud Volt sneaker right here. And they actually have a pretty decent selection of designer shoes as well. Check, check these out. We got some St. Laurent's right here for 250. This is like the Jordan 1 inspired colorway. These are really popular in like the bread and royal colorways. Oh my gosh, I have not seen Puma Thunder Spectros in this good condition in a store in a minute. That's actually really cool. One of my favorite Puma sneakers of all time. And they're going for 50 bucks. Not too shabby. I think these hit some outlets eventually because Puma just made so many pairs. But I remember when these were reselling actually for a hot minute. Ooh, we got the Yeezy basketball shoes here. Size nine and a half going for 300 bucks. I forget what retail is on that. I'm not too sure. I think that was like pretty much retail price as well. Uh, but yeah, these don't have a box, unfortunately. These are actually some really cool Adidas top 10s right here. I think this is a big Sean collaboration. I'm not too sure, but these are cool. You don't really see a kind of Adidas like this very often. I love the like colors all over the shoe and the gold metallic hits are a really nice touch as well. Size nine going for 40 US dollars. And they even have some Yeezys here, size 14 with a box, 280. These are pretty beat. I don't think I'd pay a pay 280 for these ones. Creams right here, size 12 for $180. Ooh, I'm always a big fan of maroon and burgundy sneakers. I love the maroon sixes. I remember these didn't have resale value for quite some time. I love the Nike Air on the back too. These uh, these age not in the nicest of ways. <laughs> Ooh, this is very cool. I love these, the acronym Air Force One Lows size 12. You don't really see the acronyms very often. I'm a huge fan of the Lunar Lawn Sole on these as well. I want this, like this is such a good shoe. I would get these in a triple white colorway or this colorway as well. Next up, let's check out some of the uh, major high fee streetwear brands. We got a bathing ape, we got Supreme. So let's just see what we're able to find through these uh, through these racks right here. <laughs> this is actually kind of jokes. Two XL, eighty bucks for this tee. What else we got here? The uh, shark face with this like silver kind of hologram print. Size uh, medium, 90, lightly used. Basic vape tee for uh, for 90 here as well. Size small. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is not horrible. It's like a little. A little, little sneaker, a little babe sneaker right there, a little patch. That's kind of different. It's 3XL though, that's too big. We got some more babe right here, 2XL. Pretty unique design. I actually like this a lot. If this was like my size, I actually would consider buying it. What else we got here? We got some baby Milo here action going on. Old, old babe. You can tell by the tag right there. Some old babe polos, some baby Milo. Yeah, college logo tee. I thought this was a crew neck for a second, but we got the tiger face uh, tee right here. 100 bucks size large. We got another sweater with a neck there. It's really stretched out. What size is this? 2XL. Okay, that kind of makes sense. What else? We got some American Bape. We got some Ape right here. A Ape. Return of the Bape right here. Ooh, this still has the tag on it. These look like uh, some cool shorts. Interesting. How much are these going for? 199 US dollars. And then let's get on to the uh, Supreme. I did see this tee earlier, which looked pretty simple. Size medium, it's just like the little mini box logo tee, gray, all gray. Nice set, the neck is completely stretched out and ruined too. And then I'll just show you guys some more Supreme with some B-roll, because I'm not really a big Supreme guy. Ooh, this is sick. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab with Supreme. I didn't even know that was a thing, but we got uh, is it Michelangelo right there, or Raphael, no, Raphael, right? Raphael here with his, uh, with his things. Ooh, this is a really cool duffel bag. It's like a reflective, all reflective material. So it does have like that rainbow shine when the light hits it. Very interesting. FTP. Oh, that's uh, F yeah, this is the brand that Jacob Star likes. They also have a bunch of like essential streetwear brands in the store too, like uh, Effing Awesome. They got Billionaire Boys Club. You guys know how much I love Billionaire Boys Club. So I figured I'd show you guys a bunch of the stuff here as well. A lot of selection to choose from. Let's show you guys the BBC because Billionaire Boys Club. Oh, this is still effing awesome. Ooh, this is a nice jacket. That's a cool kind of jacket. 
All right, what else we got here? Some BBC. We got some ice cream as well. More I think awesome. Let's check out the Stussy section here as well. Lots of Stussy here. Maybe like eight ten, eight, 10 shirts right here for Stussy. Nothing too crazy. A little Jersey action here going on too. Jordan 3s right here, size 9 for $90. These are basically like the Toro 3s, but dude, we need the Toro 4 Retro. I, I need those in my life. But yeah, these are really nice. $90, a bit much. There's a lot of creasing. It's a lot, a lot of creasing. We got the silver Jordan 1s here, size 8 and a half, going for 100 bucks. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the jewel. Like the jewel was supposed to be there. It's gone now. <laughs> what happened there? I've never seen that before. All right, so they have a pretty large selection of like t-shirts right here. A lot of these are like basic graphic tees with some cool, unique designs. There's like a lot of concert tees here, stuff like that. It's all organized by color. Now there's one piece I like a lot out of all of them that stood out to me, and I'm probably gonna buy it. This right here, this is Gears of War 3 t-shirt. It's been washed so many times now, so the black has faded a good amount. I definitely think it's something I could just, just wear, like just pop it onto a fit. It's everyday kind of t-shirt. I'm a huge Gears of War fan. For 10 US dollars, this is kind of a no-brainer, you feel me? On to the women's section right here. We have a bunch of uh, bunch of shoes, but there's a couple of sneakers that really stick out to me. Check these out. We got some Jordan 1 Royals right here. Size 5, pretty beat up, pretty used, but 260 US dollars. You know, Royals are very expensive, brand new. So if you were gonna wear them anyways, buying ones used is typically a really good way to go. And then you also got these. These are size 7 youth going for 249 us dollars i think it's about the same kind of condition it's just really beat up but you know if you're buying ones you know how expensive brand new ones are so when you can find them for a slight discount even if they're a bit beat up they might be worth it for you this is interesting these look brand new a size 7 combo garçon converse uh, chuck taylor 1970s 120 in this cream colorway wasn't expecting to find brand new sneakers here some really funky 13s with like a weird print on the side right there and some really strange nike sbs as well Ooh, these are pretty kind of recent i want to say maybe maybe like a year or two ago uh cdg converse truck trailer size 5 for 129 in that like highlighter volt colorway and this this is surprising me bro size uh size 10 200 for the raptors fours i've actually never seen this lace swap before either with the red laces uh i can't do the red laces i have to stick with the black laces but these are in pretty decent condition i want to say 200 us dollars it does have the box as well boys got some 60s in my bag lip sealed like pillow talking on no rag in my earlobe got two carrots vvs got a pen off near rodeo off of stress take a look at these these are a bunch of shoes that they have yet to put out onto the sales floor we got some interesting air force one lows right here unc fours these are kind of cool kind of beat but they might be worth restoring for some people i have no idea how to restore Kind of suede sneakers like this 250 size 10 and a half with the box that's actually not bad at all so we're about to head into cool kicks for my very first time sneaker shopping here actually i might have been here one time before and uh the boy jordan just picked up some unc fours across the street from second street for his uh challenge and he's actually like in the process of selling it to some random guy on the sidewalk which is so so random hey, 